What's up, Nick fans? All right. I am Victor Hatchba from Nick Fans Brazil channel. Today, I receive in this channel so great, great, great interview. I love this channel. Uh, I receive today George from in the Nick's verse. In this, in this channel, Nick Fans Brazil. Welcome, welcome to the Nick Fans Brazil channel, bro. Thank you, Victor. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to be on your channel. I'm uh, honored to be asked to come on and speak with you guys and talk to uh, <laughs> Nick's fans, uh, you know, south of the equator. It's exciting. There we go. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, okay. First of all, George, uh, do you can uh, introduce yourself for Brazilians? Sure, sure. Uh, uh, my name is George Esguerra, and uh, I started the Into the Knicks Verse channel about a year and a half ago. Uh, but I've been a Knicks fan since uh, since I was a little kid, since they won uh, in 1973. Uh, I've been fascinated with the Knicks. Uh, and, uh, you know, there were some down years, but uh, I've always... It, I actually used to live just a few blocks away from Madison Square Garden and would go to a few games uh, every year when I lived in, in New York and uh, just became obsessed with the team. It just... Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I love basketball in general. And, you know, the Knicks are... I just... I can't wait until we finally are contending again. That's That's what I can't wait for. So uh, that's, uh, and you know, you can uh, catch the channel on YouTube. Uh, I, actually, there are some uh, Brazilian, there's a Brazilian audience, uh, which is awesome that uh, there's an international audience for Knicks fans, of Knicks fans, for, uh, <laughs> for, all, for all the channels, all the good channels on, on the internet. Around the world. <laughs> yeah, around the world. Yeah, the Australia, Germany, UK, uh, Brazil, and uh, where else? In, uh, Puerto, get... Rico, Puerto Rico, Spain. Oh, yeah? Puerto Rico, yeah, yes. Spain, yes, España. Soy Nix, Soy Nix, uh, Soy Nix. Is a channel. Yes. Yeah. yeah, there's 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 gotta be like over a hundred active Nix channels right now, which is which is fat, you know, just amazing. It's yes. incredible that there's that big of an appetite. But I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad. I'm happy to be on the show. <laughs> I like your background. Uh, I like your <laughs> man, I, I I told you, uh it's a great, great honor. Uh bring you in this channel um i won't talk with you about new york knicks yes. I, I i i i miss knicks great again bro me too but we talk about this team now uh what's your opinion uh for example uh with jalen brunson and azaya hartenstein uh coming to the knicks in the, the next season I am a big fan of well, I'm a fan of the, the the Brunson signing, but I have certain issues with it. However, you know, in terms of money and in terms of uh should should IQ, Emmanuel Quickly had been giving a better chance, all those other issues, but on face value, you know, just looking at it just objectively, obviously bringing Jul uh, Jalen Brunson onto this team is going to help the team tremendously immediately. He's just, he's a pro. He's been a winner his entire life. Was a winner, a winner in college. And look how far he got to, uh, with Dallas. Yes, Luca was the main engine, but without Brunson on that team, I don't think they make it uh, past uh, Memphis and get to the Western Conference Finals. So, yes. Really, really excited about that. And he's incredibly efficient. Uh, he, he scores the way that Tom, uh, the, the coach, Tom Thibodeau, likes. For his guards, his leads guards to score, which is penetrate into the paint, force the defense to collapse, and he can find the open guy, or you know, he finishes, and no one finishes as well as he does on, on the Knicks, other other than Derek Rose now. Uh, so that's that's something that we desperately needed. And the other thing is uh, uh Hartenstein, he I I'm 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 actually happier about his signing <laughs> in a lot of ways. <laughs> Because he finally gives us a big who can, you know, step outside and shoot. I mean, Taj gave us that to some extent, but he didn't. He didn't have the passing skills. Hartenstein is one of the yes. best big passers in center passers in the game right now. That's not an MVP candidate. You know, where there's you know, joke the Joker and Bead, yes. guys like that, and uh, or even uh, well, uh, uh, Draymond Green, but Hartenstein is right there. 
with that. And I think that's going to really open the floor up a lot for this team. Open up a lot. So the two signing, those two, the two free agent signings together combined, I give it an A. I give Hartenstein an A plus as a signing, and I give the uh, Jalen Brunson a B plus as a signing. So the Knicks did very well this summer with the free agency so far, especially compared to last summer. You know, yes, when, when, <laughs> totally. Uh, that was. Uh, I mean, I, I, I mean, I don't know how you felt about uh, the point guard situation last summer, but I was worried as free agency went by, and nothing, nothing had happened. And yes. then the Kemba Walker thing popped up. But I was, I was, you know, I wanted to be positive, but I, I was concerned. <laughs> I was concerned. So this year I'm not. This year I don't have. And, and, and Brunson's young. Yes, uh, he's 25. I think he's going to be 26 by the time the season starts, or during the season he'll turn 26. And Hartenstein is also, I believe, 25. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So they fit right in. And I don't know if, uh, I, uh, how often you watch uh, uh, Into the Knicks first or whatever, but you know, I have a I have a mantra about what kind of players we, we need to add. And it's young Ooh. players that fit with oh, the great. core, the young core that have, that their better years are ahead of them. And these two guys fit that criteria. So I'm very excited about that. But there's Jalen another Brunson. guy I'm excited about too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll get to uh, him. We, 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 can, we can talk later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm really happy uh, with, with uh, two guys. Uh, Asaya Hartenstein, I very, very, very curious. Uh, drives now, uh, he he can open uh, the floor like he like you said. Uh, I can imagine Jalen Brunson, Barrett, Randall drives now, drives. I, I, I can I can imagine it because yeah. uh, Mitchell Robinson, uh, it's more pick and roll. Uh, dunks, uh, Isaiah Hartenstein, the uh, your style, na uh, skins, na totally different uh, compared with uh, Mitchell Robinson and uh, Jericho Sims. Uh, I really, really cu curious about uh, this player, na playing, <laughs> yeah, with uh, with Jalen Brunson, Barrett. He, I I really excited about this guy and uh, Jalen Brunson, George. Uh, Knicks né, don't have a, a point guard solid, solid point point guard. Oh, I I Been talk years. it. Uh, Been years. Yes, Bill Piro, Bill, Bill Piro coming in this channel and Bill, and Bill Piro uh, comments. Uh, Knicks don't have a a, a good point guards uh, since, for example, Felton. Uh, yeah. play uh, two years né? Uh, in this team. Man, I, I, I saw Alfred Payton, George. Alfred Payton, point yeah. guard. My eyes hurt. Yeah. Hurt my eyes. Seriously. It, it was painful. It was painful. <laughs> and and that's, that's the frustration with Tom Thibodeau. Yes. You know, he, he'll, he'll stick with a certain type of, of, of guard because he gives them a certain type of uh well what he liked was alfred's uh perimeter defense and his size yes you know yes. And, then, and he got into the lane the problem is that he he wasn't good <laughs> at making use of his uh, penetration game he didn't yes. finish he didn't finish at a high enough uh percentage and often <laughs> the problem with him was often and probably because he is so large his momentum to get to the hoop it took him past the backboard and if he missed, he's out of the play. And the other team has a fast break going the other way. So then he's got to catch up. So then it's like four, five on four the other way. So not only did we miss the bucket, but he's not even there to help defend. And the fact that Thibodeau kept sticking with him was just, it was just so frustrating. And he waited until yes. game, the game two, I think two, yeah, game two to finally make in uh, against the series against the Atlanta Hawks in the playoffs yes. to make the switch. No, no, you do, you do, you uh, do. You remember in the series, just your mother, just your mother, mother's uh, mom's Peyton, Peyton's mom, defends yeah. him in internet. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah. And it was also a burner account, which I know had to be Alfred. 
It was like uh, I, was... I I understand your mother now. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, yeah, your mom, but of course. man, man, no, no. Yeah. And I, for example, I I like it, uh, Alec Burks, George, but uh, Alec Burks PG, no, no, no. It, it's not your position. Yeah. No? I understand about this, but uh, also also similar problem. Couldn't finish. Couldn't <laughs> yes. finish. Couldn't make a layup with it. You know, with two three feet away from the basket. You know, all the way to the basket, just was finishing on a pathetically low percentage for a point guard. So it was really yes. frustrating, especially when we had IQ sitting there on the bench, ready, and then he yes. finally did. He finally got his chance. That's and he delivered. And same with Obi. Gets a, I think he was in his final game, forty-two points, career high, oh, for Obi Toppin. I think something yeah, like I, that. I, yeah, I, th I, I think so. I think it was so. his last game or one of his last few games. He got a career Whoa. high. Yeah. fantastic. Whoa. Yeah. Fantastic games, uh, and uh, I can talk with you ab about the, the Knicks. The, the, Knicks, the Knicks only have one player over thirty years of age currently on the roster, and that's Derrick Rose. Uh, Derrick Rose. Yeah, that's it. And I love this man. I yeah. love Derrick Rose, bro. Me too. I love. Me too. I love Derrick Rose. Man, I want to talk with you. Uh, first, I I want to talk with you about Barrett, but Barrett. I will talk with you. Uh, it's another RJ Barrett. Another, yeah, but but uh, we can talk about the most the most rumors in this off season. And Barrett, uh, talked by, uh, by Jan Bagley and so many people talking about the Utah Jazz wants RJ Barrett. But it's okay. Yeah. We can talk first about RJ Barrett. Do you believe George RJ Barrett can be our star in your opinion? Can he be our star in terms of uh like a number one superstar for this team or or, or two <laughs> or two? <laughs> I do believe he can be he I believe that he his ceiling is he could be a number two on a contending yes. team. Yes, you know, I just uh from uh, for one and actually uh, uh a fan um uh someone that i know on uh, twitter uh she wrote an article defending it today defending rj barrett and yes. she pointed out that uh actually let me pull this up because uh, only only five players in the history of the nba by the time they turned 22 years old had have scored three more than three thousand points more than 3,000. Let me find this one here. More than 3,000 uh, points. I saw, I saw this post. Yes. More than 1,000 really? rebounds, more than 500 assists, and 200 three pointers made before turning 22. And the four other players, other than RJ, are LeBron James, Luka Doncic, Kevin Durant, and Kobe Bryant. Yes, I saw. I saw That's this it. post. I yeah. saw. I saw. Now, man, now, man, would, man, would man. Zion? Would Zion, if he had stayed healthy, also been? Yes. For uh -huh. sure. But the yes. thing is, you know, availability is a big, you know, we say it in, you know, in English, we say, you know, availability is a, is, is, is yes. a key, key ability, you know, because uh -huh. if you're not, if you cannot have talent in the world, but if you're always hurt, you know, how much value can you really have to a franchise? Yes. So that's uh, RJ's durability gives him that extra, extra, you know, I think because for one extra value in my, in my feelings. And also he just, he keeps learning. He's had that much more time on the court. So it's that whole thing about the 10,000. You can't become great at anything until you spent 10,000 hours. The Malcolm Gladwell. Was it Malcolm Gladwell or, or Michael, uh, Michael Lewis? I can't remember. Either one. One of those two guys. They talk about uh -huh. 10,000 hours. So 10,000 hours. Yeah, 10,000 hours You know, when you're in high school. 10,000 hours college. But then a lot of these guys don't play for more than a year. But then 10,000 hours as a pro. At some point, you just that you have to put in that time, and RJ's putting in that time on the court, and he's delivering, and he finally became a twenty-point scorer last season, which is great. His efficiency, though, that's the main concern. But I recently, I just I put out a, a video actually, recently, I, I think just yesterday, where I talked about RJ, uh -huh. and, and I believe, I believe, I'm completely convinced that he will have an All-Star type season this season coming up will he actually make the all-star game 
We'll see because you know it's a crowded field. The East is stacked, but he'll he'll be in the conversation. I think he'll be 22, 23 points a game kind of guy. Uh, you know, average maybe seven, eight uh, rebounds a game, five assists, and hopefully his shooting percentages. He'll get back up to for his three point shooting. He had that what he had like forty percent in twenty in twenty 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 one. Yeah, if he's up, if he's up around anywhere like thirty eight percent and up with his volume, that would be fantastic. <laughs> and his and now he's he's finally using his right hand a lot now, which is nice. He's finishing with his right hand, which uh, is going to open up again. Even though he's actually is a righty, he's naturally a righty. It's just they, yeah, they made him play lefty when he was younger. Oh, but I'm a firm believer. I, I'm, I'm a huge <laughs> believer in him. Also, a lot of it has to do with the, the mental part. Very, I, I love it. <laughs> I like so much RJ Barry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, that, guy, that guy's gonna I be dunking all over the guy. place. Yeah, <laughs> I believe. I I, I talk it uh, with you and uh, comment about the biggest the biggest rumor. Do yeah. you know? You know, now uh, about uh, Utah. Yeah. Uh, in the internet, uh, we saw. Uh, Utah uh, wants R.J. Barrett, no? You know, so, I... so, but we we can talk the first. In your opinion, in your opinion, uh, uh, talking about the big most, the, the the big most rumor in this off season, is Spider Man Four yeah. coming to New York or not? Your hey, opinion. <laughs> good. Let's put it this way. There's only one city where Spider-Man lives, and it's New York City. He's got to yes. come home. He's got to come <laughs> yeah. home. It's just a matter of how much. And it's not going to be for R.J. Barrett. They can't trade R.J. Barrett. It's, it's, no. it's counterproductive. I, I, I think, uh, Victor, that we have to be a little... Not a little. We have to be a lot cautious about what we read and what we hear, mm -hmm. especially in today's world, because with the Internet, the, like information can come from so many different sources. Yes. Where in the past, yeah. in the past, it was two. I mean, three places, really. Uh, the radio, newspapers and TV reporters. And, you know, we got very little from TV unless there was the game of the night that night, just a, a you know, minute or two. Radio in New York, we got a lot of great. We had, I mean, this all this YouTube stuff was yes. born on radio in New York, sports radio. <laughs> it really was. I remember when I was living there in the, in the 90s, that's, that's what it was about. I would listen to it for hours and stuff. And it was great stuff. And that's now yeah. transitioned to uh, YouTube, to the internet, and, and in, in the video form. And that's fantastic. But the reporters really are the ones who really get the information because they're usually they're there every day, they have their relationships. But nowadays, there's so many different types of reporters, and someone will, the way they'll phrase something, then that gets mm -hmm. analyzed, you know, to death. Um, uh, whether whether Danny Ainge and Utah, the Utah Jazz, generally want RJ Barrett or not, I don't. I'm not sure. You know, I, I take it like in English we say, take it with a grain of salt. You know, like <laughs> you know, believe you know. But I, I believe I believe that they would want him. If it weren't for the contract situation, you know he's gonna have to. He's gonna have to get at least. I mean, if we're talking, uh, what's the current? What 180? What's he eligible for? 183 million, I believe. That's what he's eligible for. Or I had it here. Uh, somewhere around there in that neighborhood, they're not gonna want to spend that money on him. And mm -hmm. also, if they don't believe if they if, if Danny Ainge doesn't believe that it's not even Mitchell, smart guy, yeah, smart, smart guy. guy, smart guy, <laughs> but he doesn't believe Donovan Mitchell is a championship type of leader. Yes, so he's mm -hmm. and, and, uh, you know he's not going to believe RJ is either, but yeah. he'd have to pay him like he is. So it's two different things. It's one thing if RJ was on a nice contract like 12, 13 million a year, I'm sure Danny would snatch that up in a second. Because in his mind, I could still I can keep him, develop the, the team, or I can still trade him and get some nice assets. If he if you know we we play him for a year or two, feature him, build up his value, and he can be part of a big package that I trade later on. 
so you can flip him per se. But I, I just don't believe that. Uh, I don't believe that he believes it. But sometimes mm -hmm. you have to. You have to 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 shake negotiations up. You guys say, "Oh, well, you don't want to give me that." Well, then how about how about that, RJ? You know, let's, let me have that guy. You know, and then you yes. can keep your other pick. So it's just, I think it's just a matter of negotiation uh, stance that uh, Utah's taking. But it could be, it could be that some people, they're like, you know, we like RJ. We want RJ. But yes. the Knicks aren't willing to I, give him up. I, I don't believe he, Utah really wants RJ Barrett. No. Uh, I hear uh, Mark Berman eh, uh, talk it uh, in your tw Twitter uh, and uh, his uh, comment about uh utah wants more uh picks, nah? picks. but picks uh this picks pro uh, protect and yeah. protect the, uh for, uh, for Ma mark berman is the the question in the in this negotiation uh it's complicated in, in between uh, Leon Rose and uh, Danny Ainge. In your opinion, uh, do you agree about this or not? Uh, about the picks, protect and, and unprotect? Yeah, I'm 100% convinced that that is the central, the central, uh, the core of the deal uh -huh. rests upon how many unprotected picks the Knicks are willing to send to Utah. Yes. Right now we have four available, mm -hmm. yes. unprotected. We have four protected ones, which they have value, but they're lesser value. And the Knicks, uh, historically, the Knicks franchise hasn't done well. So you would want an unprotected <laughs> Knicks pick, right? So you can grab, you know, draft someone great. Like look, at, look at, uh, Jamal Murray from Denver. Oh, no, you're he right. Was an, you're he right. was an unprotected pick from the Knicks uh, for the mellow trade. And look, the Denver Nuggets got him. Uh, who else was the other guy? I think, oh, Jalen Brown. I think Jalen Brown also. Yes. <laughs> uh, he had, yes. I think he was. A, I think his pick was a Nick pick at one point. I can't remember how he got to Boston, but uh, I believe that's uh, that was a Nick pick originally. So because the Knicks just aren't good, so they're going to most likely be in the lottery. So you want to have one of those. However, if you send Donovan Mitchell to the Knicks, the Knicks are not going to be in the lottery. You know, barring yes. injury, barring some weird injury. The next Nilikina. Be... Nilikina yeah. comes and the spider not, bro. <laughs> I can't believe it, bro. Oh uh, man. The, but I do think I think yeah. <laughs> what was it? Uh uh there was reported that the Knicks are willing to give two first round unprotected picks, but Danny wants four. So the easy middle ground is three. So but yeah. the problem for the problem for the Knicks is if they give up three now they are gonna they're gonna need another first round unprotected pick to mm -hmm. make that next big trade because this is all part of a process it's not like we get mitchell and now we're instantly contenders for uh, and no, the, the no, no no they're gonna make us uh make possibly a top six seed adding mitchell to this team could make the knicks possibly a top six seed in the east Yes. But that's still, uh, you know, there's five other really good teams above them. And uh, I froze in. Sorry. Oh, yeah, you froze. Yeah, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I will edit this part and uh, take a picture. <laughs> there you go. Or video. <laughs> <laughs> I am scared, bro. I am scared uh, because I want so much I start in this team. We talking about uh, yeah. Donovan Mitchell, and uh, my PC, my notebook is carried about <laughs> this subject. <laughs> yeah, so, your, yeah, your PC is just like <laughs> get Mitchell. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but I understand. But uh, Donovan Mitchell can be important, important <laughs> uh, to the Knicks. Uh, so many reasons now. So many reasons. Uh, one. Uh, marketing, né? marketing mm -hmm. in Brazil, in Brazil uh, today, uh, it's complicated uh, talk about the Knicks, né? because Knicks uh, a long time ago uh, don't has a contender, okay? Yeah. In Brazil, 20 years. 
<laughs> 20 years. <laughs> yes. 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 Oh. Yes. We had, a, we had a nice little moment there with Mello, but I never really believed in that team. I it, like I, I was like, okay, they're a good team, but they're not going to win at all. I, I, I could already tell back then. And then, you know, then we had the uh, two years ago, the fluke year. Uh, that was fun. That was yes. so exciting. That was that was so oh, exciting. The last generation in Brazil uh, become a Nick. Nah. The last generation. Oh, yeah. nah, uh, more uh nick fans in brazil nope. become uh because uh, become nick fan because mellow now the last uh it's it's, it's complicated now in brazil uh people like more uh, uh today golden state warriors brooklyn nets no, <laughs> and uh, and other teams and uh, the brooklyn nets uh never be never be the the biggest from New York, no. never, no, never, no way. You heard it right here. What Victor's no saying, there it is. No way, <laughs> no way. No. They try, they try. The curse, trying. the curse, Mike. Oh, curse from the Nets, <laughs> yeah. The yeah. curse, yeah, from the Nets. <laughs> but I, uh, I, I, yeah, I kind of predicted all of the all this entire demise for the Nets last year. <laughs> I predicted all of that. He said, if they stay healthy and they stay sane, they have a chance to win it all. But yes, I did. I just didn't believe that they were going to be able to, and they didn't. They did. My they cars. got swept in the playoffs. <laughs> they got swept. A team with KD and Kyrie got swept. That's just embarrassing. That's embarrassing. In, in Brazil, but they could be great. They could be really good this year, though. I mean, they're, they're, they're huh? in Brazil has a, a expression. Uh, has expression. I, 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 I can, sorry, ice fat, ice, ice fat, fat, ice fat, fat. Ice. yeah, yes, 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 sorry, 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 <laughs> my English is not perfect, do you hey, know? you're doing great, you're doing great, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's, in my opinion, don't have so much fans like, uh, like in New York Knicks, Nets don't have a look, Knicks don't have uh, so much luck, but Nets don't have no one, yeah. no one luck, and has my curse. My curse. They have your curse. They're, yeah, they're, they're the doomed. Nets. They're doomed. No. Do you? Victor, oh, you hear? Yeah. You hear? Yeah. Brooklyn them. Nets. So you know. You know. If things go bad south for the Brooklyn Nets again. <laughs> look for Victor. Victor's really? the one who gave him the curse. Yes, you yeah, you yeah. Re, you get go re, down and one of the Brazil, get a Brazilian witch to put a curse on the Brooklyn. Yes, <laughs> Ooh. yeah, a little Santeria. But uh, but but now, just like I said, uh, it's important Donovan Mitchell because marketing in Brazil, man, uh, Knicks. Uh, so many people talking about the Knicks in the in the the last month. Because mm -hmm. uh, this rumor, né, with yeah. Donovan Mitchell, so uh, the marketing it's very important. Not not uh, so so in Brazil, just in Brazil. Sorry, just in Brazil. But in, in United in United oh, yeah. States uh, around the world, uh, talking about the Knicks uh, more né, about the Knicks. Oh. Uh, it, one one reason, two. This team will be better uh, in offense, né. Uh, more creative, uh, Jalen Brunson mm -hmm. and uh, Donovan Mitchell uh, playing together. Uh, we, uh, nice, so many people nice. talk about the defense, but uh, man, offense, offense with Jalen Brunson and Donovan Mitchell, man, yeah. man. It man. just, it just. I think defensively, uh, they can be competent. They could be, you know, decent. But their mm -hmm. offensive game is going to be just, I mean, I mean, outstanding. We're already talking like he's on the team. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> as, as far as Victor and George are concerned, the trade's already happened. We're already analyzing yes. how it's going to be. <laughs> uh, I mean, defensively, it's going to be an issue. But I believe that, uh, you know, Mitchell with his wingspan, he is just small. He's, he's only, mm -hmm. I think he's 6'1". And so is Brunson. So, uh, or yeah, Br or six feet even. Yeah, Br Brunson, uh, Br Brunson six feet. Look likes look like he uh, Donovan Mitchell in, in high. Yeah, six, I think six, so, right? six, six, uh, six point, point zero, six point one. 
I yeah, don't remember exactly. now, but but uh, I I believe Jalen Brunson is listed as six one. Ah, oh, six one. But he's strong. He's strong. He's a strong dude. Uh, and Mitchell is listed as. I think he's also listed as six one. But let me see, six one. He's also six one. But he and he's two hundred fifteen pounds. He's strong. These guys are strong. Uh, but. You know they're gonna we're gonna give up a little bit on height and defensively that hurts, but offensively these guys are gonna be a nightmare for the other team. Yes, that's yes. the key. Yes, you know, and, and then and then good that's, point. Yeah, and that's and then <laughs> RJ RJ is gonna feed off of that. You know, and uh, mm -hmm. I mean, hopefully, and uh, Julius Randall. <laughs> it's complicated you know, talking it's, uh, yeah, about Julius yeah. Randle. It's complicated. It's, it's, it's painful. Uh, George, it's painful. George, I make it an uh, interview with Daniel Yan from Nix Nation Germany. I remember uh, when making this question for him and uh, Daniel. Mm, I I don't I don't say in public. <laughs> 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 I love this part, man. I love this part. But uh, I believe Julius Randle will be better in the next season uh, playing to these guys. Yeah. Uh, Jalen Brunson, uh, uh, it's a point guard, solid, solid point, point guard, guards. Uh, man, Donovan Mitchell coming to the Knicks, playing together, bro. And, and he's, I, a, he's uh, a pretty good passer. He's a better passer than he gets credit yes, for, Donovan. Yes, yes. Yes. I mean, he averaged. He but, averaged five. But, uh, he, do you, you know, oh, George? Sorry. Oh, problem yeah. for, in my opinion, with Julius Randle in the last season. Oh, here. Yeah. Here. It's all. It's all up here. Here. And it's ego. Not, it's ego. Uh, he signed the big contract. He put a lot of pressure on himself. But he, I think, he also felt he deserved a certain amount yes. of respect. Which he, I mean, he, he gets it. But the thing is. Fans can see it when he's when he's mm -hmm. dog, dogging it on defense, not getting back, and he's whining and complaining to the refs while play is actually happening. That kind of yes. stuff is just it's so frustrating for fans. And then when he turned on the fans, make it yeah. this that was the phone, worst phone phone with journalists. That uh, was the worst. That was the push. worst. That was yeah, one of the worst the front offs. That was Man. one of the worst interviews I've ever seen. It was terrible. It was terrible. Man. Yeah. I mean, you know, these guys are young. You know, I mean, even though he is, uh, what's he, 27? Yes. Uh, Randall, 27. Randall's 27. So last year he was 26. Yes. I mean, when I was 26, I did stupid things too. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, me too. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Yeah. But the thing, the thing that annoys me the most about him is that he doesn't seem to ever really own up to the mistake. Mm -hmm. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. He never. He didn't really apologize. It was a letter that was written mm -hmm. for him that he posted on Instagram, and then he later said it wasn't his idea. He didn't want to do it. So basically, we're still left with the and what it meant. I don't know. I can't. I can't curse on your channel. On my channel, I curse all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, in Brazil, man, in Brazil, uh, yeah. hashtags, uh, two hashtags, trade, trade Randall and mm. fire chips in Brazil. Yeah. In Brazil, yeah. hey, so, we got many them here. People, <laughs> so many people, so many people said uh, in the last season uh, to hatch hashtags all the time, all the time. Yeah. Uh, because, man, it's complicated. Randall, it's a good player. Okay, it's a good player. Right, but man, the Knicks paying paying for him millions, 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 yeah. millions dollars, million dollar millions, contract. bro. <laughs> and he, uh, uh, I I I receiving millions dollars, millions of dollars, man. I play all all day, <laughs> all day, he gets all to play night. A game. Yeah, yeah. He, gets, he gets paid to play a game. It's like, come on, dude. <laughs> no, no, no. It's complicated, but I, 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 I really, really hope uh, in the next season uh, proof for me the problem of, uh, with Julius Randle. Uh, like you said, ego uh, here, 
uh, don't uh, depression from New York. It's strong, na it's strong. Uh, a lot of pressure. But man, he playing NBA. Uh, so many guys dreaming, dreaming playing in NBA. Uh, yeah. Julius Randall played uh, playing in, in New York Knicks, na uh, the biggest city uh, this world. Oh man, and playing on that MSG floor, it's the greatest. It's the best the place Mecca. to go see a game. The Mecca, it's a it totally earned, earned earned name. It's one of the greatest sports venues in the entire world, maybe yes. that will ever be. It's fantastic. Yes. And when yes. the Knicks are good and they're winning, the energy and that team and the rest of the NBA saw when the Knicks became good and we ended up the fourth seed two years ago. That yes. energy and other players were looking around like, why can't our fans be like that? You know, like these guys don't they don't win they don't win shit and look at them going crazy right now. I mean, they love and support their team. Yes. And that that's the, the I mean what really makes that arena special actually really is the fans. Yes, it's, it's the vibe that's the, there. The passion, the passion yeah. the, uh from the Nick fans. Nick fans, uh it's the the I mean, look what we're the, doing. The... Look at us. Yes. <laughs> look at us. Man, man I, mean, I live I, I live in Brazil. And I, I, I live in Los Angeles. The, <laughs> <laughs> the city uh, uh, from Los Angeles Lakers, bro. And yeah. you love the Knicks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, man. Got a funny and uh, man, uh, the Knicks, uh, so passion, so passions. Do you remember in the last season, uh, uh, Knicks? uh versus boston versus celtics oh. uh the last the last jump the last shot uh, yeah. from rj rj barrett yeah man like a title like a title it was it was it was outstanding <laughs> what a... you are champions in this game <laughs> yeah and uh i'm not sure i don't know if you heard but jason tatum himself said that that moment is what turned the season around for boston Losing yes. that game was such a heartbreaker. Also, remember, Jason Tatum and R.J. Barrett know each other very, very well. They, because Art, they both went to Duke. Yes, you know, and they and these guys, they all, you know, they all. I mean, Tatum is older than everybody, but they all grow up uh, playing against each other, and they know about each other. And then when they go to the same college, same university, there's like an extra brotherhood there. So that was like his his little brother, you know, get, hitting uh -huh. a game, game winner on him. Yeah, I understand. They, and they said losing that game, they uh, Celtics went into the locker room and they they had an epiphany that moment. They're like they realized we have to play harder. I agree. And I look agree. what happened. They made it all the way to the finals. It's nice. It's nice that the Knicks this had a game. little hand in that. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. I want One some thing. of that for New York though. I One thing in New York make it in the last season <laughs> <laughs> helps. Yes, um, but uh, I I don't like it so much about this. And Boston, it's, yeah. uh, it's the, painful. The, yes, yes, exactly, yeah. exactly. It's painful. Uh, but uh, I I believe it. Uh, I I want. Oh, the last question, George. Sure. I want your opinion. I want your opinion. Uh, New York Knicks in in two situations. Mm -hmm. The first, New York Knicks uh, with Donovan Mitchell, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, second, uh, New York Knicks without Donovan Mitchell. What's your uh, expectations and in two, two formats? Okay, let's uh, let pull something up about this. Love it. <laughs> Okay, I mean, I'll just, I'll just say, uh, right now, uh, it's been reported that the Knicks currently believe that by adding Jalen Brunson to this team, it's going to add five additional wins to what they did last year. So they're going to go from 37 wins to 42 wins. So they're thinking they'll be a 42 and 40 team just with Brunson. So that's what they believe. I believe that's a little low. I think this team, especially when you consider RJ is going to be better, we now finally have a real stretch five, Hartenstein, who even though he's foul prone, 
That's his major problem. That's why he, he, it, that's why he probably won't be a starter ever. He just fouls too much, too much. So then that hurts your team's balance. So he's be- better for uh, the backup role. But the beauty is with when you have Mitch Robinson, who's fantastic. Yeah. But he doesn't. He doesn't shoot the three. He doesn't. He doesn't extend the floor. <laughs> but as you saw him, and then you saw Jericho Sims, they started. Uh, they're, they're now taking the ball from the three point line and driving themselves to the basket. That's exciting. So maybe they don't give you the three point outside shooting, but they give you that penetration. And if they can, and then you saw Jericho was making the pass. He was making the outlet pass when he bound, uh, got to resistance. Mitch yes. has to start. The thing is with Mitch, he's so much uh, taller and bigger, and you know, hopefully he'll be even having even more more spring. <laughs> he'll just dunk it over you. But he's got to start making that corner pass, that pass to the guy open in the corner. And then, but in Hartenstein, now he can shoot that eighteen footer consistently. He can shoot the three pointer pretty well, even though he didn't shoot at a high volume. So that alone is going to impact it. Then what Brunson's going to give you, but we're going to lose some on defense. So we're going to be like, I think this team, I believe this team could win 50 games without Donovan Mitchell. Whoa. And I, I, I'm going to put a video. <laughs> I'm talking about this. So you're getting it here first. Whoa. I believe they can win 50 games currently without Donovan Mitchell. With Donovan Mitchell, 100% they can win 50 games more. Depends. It's going to take a little bit of time to, for them to figure things out. Uh, because you know, Brunson's style of play fits in well with the way the Knicks have been playing. Mitchell's a different thing, mm-hmm. so it's gonna take probably 10, 15, maybe even 20 games for the team to figure itself out. And we have a really tough schedule in the beginning, so it might be a little rocky right off the bat. So, you know, people have, and then you know, Julius has to accept his role, and RJ's got to find how he's going to score and impact the, the the on the offensive end now with uh Mitchell coming in and Brunson. So it's going to take some figuring it out, but I think once they gel, I do believe that they can be a a uh, a sixth seed by the end of the, the season with Donovan Mitchell. So I'm not going to give you I'm not going to give you an actual win total with Donovan Mitchell because I haven't broken it down exactly, but let's say if I believe 50 is possible with Brunson and the team as is currently, then 50, I mean, Mitchell's got to be worth an extra five. It could be 55 wins <laughs> with Donovan Mitchell on the team. Got to remember, I mean, Thibodeau's going to make them play defense. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. He doesn't care you're 6-1. He's going to make <laughs> them play defense. He's going to get yeah. this, you know. And, and, I, and I really believe a lot of it does rest on RJ being able to make that leap that I was talking about before. And that's uh, – so 50 wins with without uh, Donovan Mitchell, 55, 54, 55 with Donovan Mitchell. Only because, like, if Donovan had been on the team already last year and they knew each other and they had the chemistry going, then I could see for sure 55 games for sure. But there's going to be a learning curve. It's going to be some growing pains there for the team when he comes on. And then it also depends on what we had to trade out. If we lose yes. Obi, like for example, yes. if we lose Obi, that's going to hurt that second unit a lot. You see, so Brunson, we didn't lose any. We just added him to the team. Mm-hmm. Where Mitchell, we're going to be losing and adding. So it's not, you know, the wins aren't going to be impacted as dramatically as just by adding Brunson right now. That's my feeling about that. But we're going to have a good team. <laughs> yes, yes. Good yeah. point. Excellent point. Yeah. The yeah. Knicks will be well, better. What do you what do you, I mean what do you think? How do you think? What do you think? How do you how do you think the Knicks are going to be just without uh, Mitchell? Uh without Mitchell, uh I believe in and playing Knicks uh uh win playing and follow in first round. Mm. With uh, Donovan Mitchell, uh, six, six. In, so you, you so like you like, six, yeah. like you like you yeah. or, or, uh, playoffs now nah? and uh, follow in second round. Uh, yeah, for, uh, I, I I believe in second round. But uh, man, I I want an champion. Or, okay, but uh, realistic, 
realistic, I believe, it, with uh, Donovan Mitchell, uh, Knicks uh, second round in playoffs uh, without uh, playing playoffs Here's and and uh follow in in first round i i okay so we're in, we're in a similar situation the thing about the wins the actual win amount uh is dependent on the competition that you're playing yes and the east is uh, much stronger now mm -hmm. much stronger Atlanta so even, 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 even guys like detroit i mean detroit is not i mean they're going to be competing you know Young, the younger players younger players uh if you catch detroit uh on the second game of a back-to-back -back, or even with one day in between but the game before was a tough challenging game you know maybe when it's overtime and then you got to face detroit that's going to be it's not it's not you're not going to walk over to detroit every team every team in the east is going to be competitive even like the wizards i mean they got mm -hmm. uh, K kp now then so every uh, cleveland is you know tremendous uh, the toronto raptors i'm actually very concerned about I think mm -hmm. they could be they're going to be very very don't good. like play with yeah. the Toronto Raptors don't yeah. so the win totals the the actual amount of games that the, that the team will win we're like last season the east was stronger than the season before but they're nowhere near as strong as they are going to be next season so 50 mm -hmm. winning 50 games for example uh only four teams in the east won more than 50 games last year uh, Toronto, yes, yes, six, yes, Sixers, Bucks, and Celtics all won just fifty-one games. That was it. I, I remember. Yeah, uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. So if you win fifty games in mm -hmm. the Eastern Conference, you're going to be one of the top uh, top six teams for sure. So that's where that's where I'm thinking of the Knicks with Donovan Mitchell. But even without him, if all goes well, we don't make the trade. We find someone to take Randall. At some point during the season, he comes out, he plays well. Depends. They take, depends. They take Randall, then Obi slots into the starting rotation. Brunson, we got uh, Grimes becomes the the starting uh, uh, two guard. That guy can defend. He can shoot. He's like a Clay Thompson type of player. You know, like a B B plus mm -hmm. version of him. Yeah. Then R R J makes his step up. That fifty wins is possible. So. I mean, I hope it. let's say even on a short Man, time, 40, in the last season, yeah, in the last season, Knicks uh, can be so much more wins, uh, oh, lost yeah. so many games, so many, uh, so many. disasters, disasters in so I, many I games, say, bro. In my opinion, 2080. Victor, it was it was the coach. In my opinion, it was the coach. People, I, people in Brazil talking yeah. so much. People no, talking opinion, so much about it. Was, it uh, was. Call, he had, calling uh, George. People in Brazil calling um, Tom Timbado likes Penguin from Batman. Do you remember Penguin? Oh, penguin. Penguin. <laughs> penguin. Do you yeah. remember? Uh, yeah. It's uh, Michael Keaton. Michael uh, Keaton. Uh, <laughs> penguin. I, I forgot to do, do the name. this name, the man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, Danny yeah. DeVito. Danny DeVito. Yes, Danny DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> he played him. Uh, yeah, it's complicated. But look, if you look at it, like the Hawks, I mean, they added uh, DeJounte Murray. They should be strong. The Charlotte, crazy DeJounte Charlotte, Murray. Charlotte has LaMelo uh, coming back. The Wizards, uh, they got KP and they have some young guys. The Pacers are going to be interesting. Matherin. Uh, uh, Duarte, uh, they got Halliburton. Halliburton, look at the look at those three guards right there. Uh, then there's the Pistons, who we just talked about. The Orlando Magic, that's the one team that might still be a problem, but you never know. You know, the young guys, one season to the next, can make a leap. So that the entire, I mean, I just went through the Bulls. Look at the Bulls, Cleveland. Cleveland could end oh, up Cleveland. being the best. For all Cleveland. we know, Cleveland could end up being the best team in the East. <laughs> That's how that's how crazy basketball is. I mean, Mo <laughs> Mobley is the real deal. They got Jared Allen, Darius Great Garland. Great player, this yeah. guy Mobley. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. I mean, that's how crazy this uh, this league is, the NBA. So, well, but the Brooklyn Knicks, Nets, but Brooklyn Nets, uh, the curse, the, the curse, curse the from curse. Knicks fans Brazil. The, the Knicks never fans be. Brazil. 
never be. We'll remember. We'll remember. I'll remember this. I'll remember this. (laughs) This moment. (laughs) This moment. (laughs) When the Knicks sweep Brooklyn in the first round. Yes. (laughs) We'll remember. Victor called it. Yes. <laughs> I want it, I want a, a live art interview. <laughs> yes. you'll, you'll come on you'll come on the, the next verse. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Great, great. <laughs> uh, George, man, I love I love I love uh this interview. I love it. I love it. Man, oh, thank you. Man, yeah, it's been man. fun. I, I, I talk it I talk it nah, with you in backstage uh about your channel. Now I love so much more your channel. <laughs> <Excellent>. <laughs> uh, later this interview, so 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 great, great, great talk with you, bro. Yeah, it's been uh, I hope I I hope nah, you enjoy nah, oh, the, yeah. this time with me, and uh, I hope make a new interview in the future with you, bro. Yeah, maybe midway through the season we'll do a check in. Or or uh, Donovan Mitchell coming to the Knicks oh, make a a be... fast interview yes, yes. about uh, about this. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so that'd much, awesome. George. All right, thank thanks, you, Victor. Thanks thank so you. much, George. Uh, your channel, I I I desire desire now your channel. Thank you. I appreciate all the support. Uh, the channel's been growing. We have over six thousand subscribers now. Uh, 6100 and uh, it just keeps growing every day and it's been great i've had a lot of fun having a lot of fun uh, you are you are uh you have you have a uh, uh, brazilian brazilian fan in your channel later the, the this interview so many brazilians let's will, go let's will go. follow you okay All right. i will i will uh put in this description your your links nah, oh, from be great. your channel twitter nah, instagram nah, uh from from brazilians follow you too awesome. bro thank you thank you that'd be great <laughs> okay all right okay bro thank take you, care thank, thank you, you so much thank you for having me on i really appreciate it bye bye e aí pessoal este foi mais um vídeo aqui no canal nick fans brasil Espero que vocês tenham gostado, né? E como é de praxe, pessoal, você, você mesmo que está assistindo pela primeira vez o canal Unifens Brasil, não se esqueça de se inscrever, se inscreva aqui no canal Unifens Brasil. Não esqueça, né, você que já é inscrito, de ativar o sininho para notificação de novos vídeos e também sempre deixar o seu like, um comentário, compartilhar com os amigos, por que não, para ajudar com que o canal Nick Fans Brasil chegue cada vez em mais e mais pessoas, pessoal. Beleza? Conto com a ajuda de vocês, Nick Fans. Um abraço! I do, are you down with the orange and the blue?